Alrighty, so in today's video we are mowing the lawn, well I'm not mowing the lawn, my wife is. So I'll put it on the camera. <laughs> um, and so we're going to mow the lawn um, because she's a bit preggers, as you can see. Oh crap, losing the camera. But she's a bit preggers in there, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so we're going to get to mow the lawn to see if we can bring on lay because the due date is not too far away. Well, Christmas day, but you know, we want to come a bit earlier because who wants a baby on Christmas? Yo my what up? Welcome to the lawn to vid. <laughs> what do you reckon Andy? How's mum gonna go mow on the lawn? Daddy. Oh it's daddy's job. Yep, you are correct, sir. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get this mower out, girlfriend. Lawn to bed. Lawn to bed. So, just want to check if there's a bit of fuel in there, girl. Oh, yeah. Daddy! Is that thing in your shirt? Right, so, what you want to do, my boy, is turn the choke on. Yeah. Push this one. This one? Yep. Now, you just need to pull it. See if you can start it, man. Nearly. It's close. So she seems to be going alright. That shows you how easy these mowers are to use. She has tried it once before ages ago and did a couple of banana stripes here and there. But yeah, she's just doing a pass around the outside like I always tell you guys. Make sure you do a pass around the outside. Normally a double with these mowers because they're so thin. But yeah, hopefully it brings the baby on. I don't know how, you know. I suppose doing some physical labour will make it a bit easier for the baby to come out. But yeah, but hey, it's good for me. I should go get a drink or something and just watch. Okay, well, while she's doing that outside part, the disease is improving in my yard. A couple of spots look a bit worse because we had a couple of hot days. When I say hot, hot for ryegrass, not for orange. Like, we got close to 30 degrees, so it sort of burnt a little bit, but it didn't die. It sort of just had to be brown in the fungus spots because there's not much grass there, so it sort of, you know, just struggled a bit more. But yeah, the disease is coming better. Um, that's all I can really tell you about. Wow, what was that? What'd you hit? Right, so I just need to go around it twice. Around the outside. Same part. It's just so when you when you turn around, you get a bigger area to turn around in when you're doing your stripes. So two wide. Yeah. Two stripes wide, so. Go around the circle again. Circles? No, we're not. We're not doing circles, boy. How do you reckon mum's going, man? Good. You reckon? Do you reckon she'll do a funny one or will be alright? Yes, that's a good answer. Good answer, mate. You trained well. Hey? Great! <laughs> Sweet. Down the outside past it. So, what? You can go direction whatever you want, I suppose, really. What do you want to do? What do you want? Do you want to do circles? I don't uh. even know what, <laughs> what they're called. Um. What do you reckon, Louie? What pattern are we going to do? What pattern? Circles. I have to do this, and then go there, and then go there. Mummy, I'm double wide diamonds. Double wide diamonds, no. You're not. How about we just do yeah, the straight up and down? So just go back to where you were before, then start on the edge there, so you get a nice straight edge, and then we'll just go straight. Straight up and down. Makes it easy.
get fixed it up. <laughs> you feeling good having a baby? <laughs> Not in labour yet. <laughs> But it's cool when you have well, a baby. Well, it wasn't much of a point at mowing this today because there's like no grass on it. So let's do it. Last you bubble. Uh, yeah. Oh well, looks good. Let's have a look at it, eh? <laughs> let's have a squeeze at your handwork. My single doubles. Triple singles. <laughs> we'll just call it a new top and drop. <laughs> Claim it. It's not that bad. It's look. got a bit of character. It wasn't that bad. Oh, thanks, man. You're, you're a supportive <laughs> little man. That's pretty good out here. It was. It just goes a little bit diagonal so we can hear. <laughs> Thomas is worse too. One, one's a bit skinny. Then we'll go at the back and have a look. Them crazy straps. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I've seen worse, girl. <laughs> I have seen worse. Lisa can say, Mommy. this is mint. Oh, <laughs> She's been wanting to say that joke <laughs> for absolutely ages on this channel. It's not even funny. It's a, it's a mint plant if you didn't get that joke. <laughs> oh dear. No, she did She did pretty good. It looks all right. I probably won't even get a chance to fix it because who knows. The baby pops out. No mowing for me. The good thing I put that plant growth regulator down. As you guys saw from that catcher, basically no grass came out of that bad boy there. So we were just doing it today for the sake of striping it. I'll get the drone up in a minute actually and show you guys how the whole yard looks after her stripes. It's not that bad at all. I'm just exaggerating for the camera. But yeah, she's done pretty good. The lawn's looking great after putting down that phosphider that I put down the other week and putting down the plant growth regulator. Plant growth regulator, guys, man, is awesome stuff. I need to do a video on it soon because it just, it's crazy stuff. It brings up a bit of color in your lawn too. I put no iron on this for a little while now. Um, brings the colour up in your lawn, slows the growth down, and makes the surface really, really like thick and tight. I'll show you, I'll get down close and let's have a squeeze. A little bit diseased there, but look how thick the grass is. Like two weeks ago, before I put this down, it was not that thick. You can't even see the soil. Unless you really pull it away, and even still, you can't see the soil. So Primo Max is pretty cool, delicate like angle. It's really, really cool because it helps make your lawn tiller and thicken up, but it also slows down the growth. It can help it move sideways a bit too if you've got a grass that creeps. So you print a raw grass, it'll just thicken it up and make it tiller a bit and make it bunch out a little bit more. Which the reason I put it down is so that those sections where the disease were, they come a lot up a lot better as well. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully next time you see me, it'll be a baby. Maybe. Maybe not. Find out what happens. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and if you didn't like it, well. Thumbs down, I suppose. Yeah, you have a good week. I'll never put you through that again, babe. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Apologise.